We're just going to sell some of the stuff we recently got. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. So yeah, just the same old deal with selling everything. And uh, I just kept a few things which I thought might be useful a little later on. However, are not useful right now because I don't have the ability to equip Thank them. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission. Time for a speech. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop, Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again.
You see why I was laughing at uh, one of the enemies yelling hold the line a little earlier on in the game. Yeah, that's pretty much why. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Okay, I believe Williams. the idea Your is team. you don't want to take too long. Move. But you also... Ooh, hello. You also want to take out any of these facilities that you come across. Monovai is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the guest target. Okay. Ooh. This... I don't remember what this station is for. All I know is there are a lot of enemies attacking me. Hello. Okay, not that many enemies. Geth disrupted. Weapons locker. Okay. Without much further ado, let's move on. I don't know which is worse. The Geth or all this sand in my... Never mind. Um, let's take a look at the map, because I do want to get this right. Satellite uplink tower. Can I not zoom out? Nope, there's nothing else. So we need to, we actually do need to pass the satellite uplink tower. And then the refueling platform, I think. We are going to hit all of those places with the names. Just to make sure that Kirahe lives Come on, Shepard, run, for Christ's sake. I, I'm in a hurry. You're in a hurry. Everyone's in a hurry. What are you doing taking so long? Something scrambled. They're targeting. They've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. No, t take the heat off Kira Hay. I just realized, actually, I need to update my team. But we'll handle everything fine without uh, the upgrades. N die. They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? There it is. Satellite uplink station. We attack that. That thing up there. Awesome. Now that that's down, I believe that's all we needed to handle here. Hopefully, I haven't screwed anything up. <laughs> I am really paranoid about this. Just want everything to go right. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Okay, so take a quick look at the map. We are going that way. Because we are going to take out whatever this fueling station is. Refueling station? Yes. Fuel tank. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Immunity? Does immunity help at all? I've never used it before. Okay, this is bad. I... no. This is very bad. Geth flyers destroyed! Okay! Whew! That was tight. That was another plot point. I think Kirahe will live. Kirahe, if you die, I, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to save you. <laughs> Please don't die. Um, we've got another enemy just running around back there. What's it doing? Okay. This is where we want to head to. Yes, Kirhe is still alive at this point. I think if we didn't disable the um, refueling station. Oh, hello. He was just floating in midair. So is he. I think we've got some help from biotic powers there. I think if uh, we didn't disable the refueling stations. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. I gotta stop getting interrupted. I think I even interrupted myself, to be honest. Um, then I think Kirahe would have been dead by now. And Williams would have Williams or 
uh, Caden, whichever one you choose, will have been shouting about something. About Kira Hayes down. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah, like I'm gonna put any pressure on the Solarians. Come on, what a dick move. Okay, I guess if you're para not Paragon, I guess if you're Renegade, then that's your ideal choice. But if you haven't learnt by now, I'm Paragon. That's what the blue means. Yeesh. And green for the enemy means dead. I just had to say that. Woo! I should have dodged that a little quicker, methinks. Anything here? No, just a door. Ooh. Sorry, Intel report. Okay, let's manually override this. I've probably used way too much, uh... Whatever it was. Omnigel. And we didn't even get to read anything. And I, I'm not gonna bother looking up it up in the codex. Hello? Is someone out there? Just because we're in the heat of battle! How am I gonna pause the game in the heat of battle? Ah, hello. That's one of the reasons why I haven't upgraded yet. Uh... Give a little ground, Williams. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Uh, yes, I am going down here so that I can free that, uh, Slarian Commando. Which gets you Paragon points if you still need them. Well, you're not a Gath. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Hey, you're a commando. You should be able to handle it just fine. Uh, no point in really opening those doors because... No points, no money, no EXP. You just get those mindless Solarians drooling as they stumble out. Okay, I don't know about drooling. The detail in this game isn't that high. Uh, then there's more Solarians up here to deal with. Uh, this one up here is a little bit more crazy. Just a little bit. Ooh, no, it turns out this is where we were meant to go. E be careful. These guys will come out any second. Oh, jeez. What the hello? I, uh, where am I? Am I alive? Okay, that was, that was bad. My gun is stuck in the overheat position. That's not good. Okay, that's possibly the worst situation I've ever been in in this game. And let's hope I never have to be in that situation again. Ooh, we have amps. Since the game's slowed down a bit anyway. Um... Ooh, mother of all amps. Garrus, you have an amp, I believe. No, you just have an only tool. I should have an amp. Why I know have amp? You, seriously? Because I'm a soldier, that's it? And we'll quickly upgrade our fitness to max. Oh, yes. And then I don't know what else for you, to be honest. You are clearly first aid. Yep. 
And we are clearly out of here. There's nothing down the end of the room besides a uh, Metagel dispenser. So if you need Metagel, you can head over there, but you have to hack it as per usual in this game. Because, I don't know, they don't want to give out free Metagel. What the hell is wrong with them? Um, ooh. Hello, don't random shoot. person. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that. Yes. Yes, I did, Garrus. Anyway, um, she actually makes a, an appearance in Mass Effect 2, whether you believe it or not. But only if you've uh, imported your game over from uh, Mass Effect 1. So, if you do continue to watch my playthrough over into my playthrough of Mass Effect 2, then yes, you will see her pop up again. And yet again, no elevator music. I don't know, what is with these places? The future has no elevator music. And looky at this. I was about to say that until you interrupted me, Garrus. Look, it's a beacon from... Like from Eden Prime. This one's clearly in better condition. Well, that had a better outcome than the last time. Wonder what happened to the last beacon, actually. I mean, it seemed to be working fine. Saren used it perfectly fine. And Saren didn't have the cipher at the time either, I don't believe. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there, it's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, 
advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? She just told you what they wanted. My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Basically, they deny being a creator, and yes, there are a lot more of them, as we find out. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Oh dear. That's not good. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Joker's dropping off the nuke, what are you talking about? Anyway, clearly Commander Shepard has not been listening to the plan. Must have been in La La Land. I was listening, don't worry. I got this. <laughs>